What's up everybody, Crescenda here. I'm going to show you guys my go-to updo. It's super cute and I will say that the level is intermediate because you got to twist up in the back and that can be a little tricky. But I know if you guys wear this hairstyle, you'll get a lot of compliments. So, you're welcome. Now let's just get on into the tutorial. I washed my hair, put it in four sections, and then each section I put two twists to help it dry faster. And now you're gonna get into the parting. You wanna part your hair like the letter U. And with the editing, of course, it looks like I got the parting perfect the first time I did it, but no, you might have to go back in a couple times to get the parts even. Now you just want to twist up this middle section to get the hair out of the way. Yes, I know my parts weren't perfect on both sides, that's why I made the face. So both sides are going to have three twists each and you want to have your first part, which is what I'm doing right now, at more of a curve than your next part. But before you start twisting, you want to section off the hair to make sure each of the three twists have about the same amount of hair. When you're twisting and every time you add more hair, make sure you add a little bit at a time, not big chunks, because if you do big chunks, then your twist is gonna look very loose. This is what you should have so far, three twists on each side. The biggest decision of this hairstyle is if you want the pompadour on this side or this side. Now you want to part your hair across and do a bunch of two strand twists. I start with the flat twist. And you want to make sure to twist your hair in the direction that your hump or pompadour will go in. This is how your hair should look so far. Now on to the back. The back is gonna have four jumbo flat twists and I don't care if my parts are straight in the back so I just use my fingers. This part was definitely tricky for me to record because usually when I flat twist the back of my head upwards like I'm doing now, I am completely bent over which makes it easier but you may have to take breaks because your back might start hurting so yeah three down one to go Just make sure you're twisting it all the way to the ends, even with the four jumbo twists in the back. Rolling this section is completely optional. I just think it makes it easier when it comes to doing your pompadour because it kind of curls into each other. Now, if I was to keep it straight, I may have some straight ends sticking out and that means you gotta use even more bobby pins.
it is now the next morning and I am about to pin it all up. You are gonna need like a hundred bobby pins for this, so I hope you have enough. Now on to pinning the back section. Now first you wanna take the two middle twists and overlap them, and then you want to overlap the two outside twists and figure out somehow to pin it up. It took me forever to get my pompadour right, but you can wear your hair just like this because it's still cute. Um, but when you do the pompadour, you wanna kinda roll it into each other and then use a bunch of bobby pins. And make sure that the the twists in the front are kind of even so it just looks like a smooth little hump. And this is the finished product. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.